Hi friends, kumusta? So, welcome back. You know what? One of the reasons of refusals if you are planning to apply for a Canada study permit is your LOE or what you call the letter of explanation. Some people also call it as SOP or the statement of purpose or you can just easily say the study letter. I am receiving a lot of messages regarding this document. They are asking if I could share my letter of explanation to them. Of course, that is the reason why I am making this video. As I have mentioned in my title, I will be giving you what are the information that you need to put in your letter to be a successful document. And also, in this video, I will be giving you samples of LOEs from different experiences or different backgrounds like business, hospitality and culinary, nursing or healthcare, engineering, and also I will be giving you an example of an LOE of a family visa application. So stay tuned. By the way, I am making videos for those who are planning to apply for international student for Canada study permit and give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button as well by the way if you don't know me my name is Jason Jim and welcome to my channel okay so what is an LOE or letter of explanation as I mentioned earlier they also call it SOPs the statement of purpose or you can easily say study letter as per IRCC letter of explanation is a letter that helps a visa officer to understand you and your goals. It also explains why you want to study in Canada and that you understand your responsibilities as a student. I will give you a heads up that this information that I'll be telling you will be based on my experiences and also with my friends or the people that I know who are already here in Canada. So it may vary from person to person or applicant per applicant. Okay, so let us now go to the first information that you need to indicate to have a successful LOE. Introduction. Of course, you need to introduce yourself. You need to um, provide your name, age, highest educational attainment, name of university or college, what was your course or major when you were in university, your work experiences, and by the way, with your work experiences, you um, can also indicate uh, what type of jobs that you had, how many years um, have you worked, and also the achievements that you gained while you were working. So remember, in this part, you need to tell who you are to the visa officer. Okay, so the second one is, why did you choose to study in Canada? There are a lot of countries now that you can go to study. For example, the US, New Zealand, Australia, UK, France, and a lot more. So in this part, you need to provide the reason why do you really want to study in Canada. I will give you examples. So I want to study in Canada because I can benefit from the world-class education system that encourages cross-disciplinary studies and the development of transferable skills. Second example, I enjoy an excellent quality of life, especially with a cost of living which is lower than other countries. Third example, I want to have an enriching cultural experience. Since Canada is a highly diverse population, resulting in a rich and vibrant culture scene. So those are examples of um, reason why you really wanted to study in Canada. By the way, I suggest not to indicate regarding the residency pathway here in Canada. The reason behind that is the application that you will be submitting to the embassy is for you to come here in Canada and study. So don't indicate that you will work after your graduation or after your studies. Focus on the things and informing the visa officer that you will study here in Canada, not anything else. Okay, so let us now go to the third information that you need to indicate to have a successful LOE. You need to answer, why did you choose your school, 
college, or university. Of course, you need to provide the reason why you have chosen your institution. So, in this part, you need to do your own research. What are the good qualities? What are the positive and good attributes of your school, college, or university? You can also indicate the location of your college or university. What are the beautiful places and cultures of the province or the city itself? Also, if there are different campuses of your chosen institution, you can also indicate what specific campus you will be so that the visa officer will know that you are really prepared and you really know what is the environment that you are going to. All right, so once you already indicated why did you choose your institution, you need to answer the next question. Why did you choose your program? So remember that you need to provide the reason why you have chosen your program or programs. Remember, if you are planning to study here in Canada and you have chosen two programs, don't forget to indicate and give a reason for each of it. You can also incorporate the relationship of your past experiences. For example, when you were still in your university or college, your past work experiences, your related jobs or volunteering. So the visa officer will understand why you chose that specific program. So in this part, you can also write in your letter if this program will really help you in the future. But if you have chosen a program that is different from your past experiences or different from your studies, you need to defend the reason why you are changing your career path. Like in my case, I took Bachelor of Science in Nursing, but the program that I have chosen were global hospitality management and global business management. So in this part, I have indicated my future plans in relation to the programs that I had chosen. So let us now go to the fifth question. Who will support your studies? So in this section, write in your letter who is supporting you or who is sponsoring you to study here in Canada. For example, if your parents will be supporting you throughout your studies here in Canada, in this part, you need to provide some details about your parents. But the documents should be supported. Like for example, their employment certificate, if they are working, the businesses, assets, or even um, the properties if they have. So what if your relative will support you in your education? So same thing with them provide those documents and details but you also need to include the proof of relationship and same thing if someone will support you but not a relative or not your parents for example your friend or friends of your family friends of your parents so same thing with that provide those documents and also attach the proof of a genuine relationship with them and lastly if you have a scholarship or a sponsorship from an organization or institution, you need to provide the reason or how did you get the sponsorship. And last point, it is better to provide a letter of support or affidavit of support from those people who will be helping you with your education. Okay, so as I have mentioned earlier, I will be sharing with you different samples of LOEs from my friends that I know. Um, these are from different backgrounds. These are from different um, experiences when they were still applying for a Canada study permit. But before that, let us talk about the most important and most crucial information that you need to indicate to have a successful letter of explanation. Your home ties. So for the ties of your home country, you need to provide documents and reasons. You need to assure the visa officer that after you graduated and after your studies, you will return to your home country. The example of these documents are if you have your own business, properties, or even any assets that you have. And it is so much better if um, these documents are with your name. You can also add certificate of employment. So this shows that you really work in your country. What if you don't have any businesses, properties, or any assets? That would be fine. You can also indicate the family or family members that you will live in your home country. For example, your mother, father, 
or your siblings. And also if you are married, your wife, your husband, or even your child. So you can indicate that you will go back to your home country because of your family and your family members. Remember, your reason of ties of your home country must be sufficiently strong to ensure that you are motivated to return home after your studies here in Canada. By the way, before I forget, you also need to indicate in your letter of explanation that you understood all of your responsibilities, all of your duties as an international student, especially if you are working off campus with maximum of 20 hours per week during your academic semester. And these are also some of the duties that you need to indicate in your letter. All right, so those are the information that you need to indicate to have a successful letter of explanation. And before I share the samples that I have mentioned, I just wanted to remind you that show the visa officer that you are going to your home country after graduation. Be genuine and honest to all your documents. Be positive in all the information that you will provide. Read your letter of explanation again and again and again. Don't copy your LOE from others, and your main goal is to study in Canada. So for the samples of letter of employment, as I have mentioned earlier, I will be sharing you with business, accounting, hospitality and culinary, nursing and healthcare, engineering, and student with family application, including the spouse and a kid. So this is an example of a business letter of explanation. The next one is from an accountancy graduate. Here is the hospitality and culinary LOE. for nursing and healthcare programs. For engineering program. And lastly, this is from a student with a family application with spouse and a kid. So I really hope that this video helps you in preparing for your letter of explanation. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You should also hit the bell so that you will be updated to my next videos. And if you have any question, just let me know, comment down below, and I will answer as much as I can. So thank you so much. And again, my name is Jason Jim, and see you to my next video. Bye!